Our project was to create a 3D printer bat pump. The team included Abdallah, Nathan, Taylor, and Lindsay. SLA printers are a type of additive manufacturing technology that work by using a laser to cure resin in a clear bed. One benefit to SLA printers is that you can easily add a filler such as copper, glass fiber, or aluminum to the resin. The problem is that when adding fillers, they often sink to the bottom during printing and this causes uneven distribution of the fillers in the printed part. By adding a pump to the system, resin can be in constant motion, preventing the fillers from sinking. Our group aimed to implement a bat pump system into a Moai affordable laser SLA printer. The objective was to create a commercial product that can be bought as an add-on to the printer. This was so users can easily incorporate fillers into their prints. The group brainstormed many different ideas and encountered several challenges before landing on the final model. The final design included a 24 volt DC motor that was easy to use, 3D printed nozzles that would allow flow to distribute evenly throughout the bed, and these nozzles were designed to point to the side of the bed. This allowed all the tubing to be routed to one hole and the bed to be easily removed. The motor was connected to the main power source and could be controlled by an on and off switch. It would also be installed to the base of the printer with 3D printed mounts. A side access hinge door was to be added to allow the user to easily access the pump. This door would include an automatic kill switch in case the panel is open during operation. Three different fillers were to be tested in the pump system and these include Kevlar, aluminum, and copper. Resin filler mixtures were made and the properties including viscosity, density, and velocity through the pump were all measured. With these measurements, CFD was performed. The CFD showed a good flow distribution in the bed and a velocity high enough to keep the particles afloat. A standard operating procedure was created to advise users on how to clean the pump and any safety precautions. A wire diagram was created to show the wiring process. The team was unable to achieve all the intended outcomes due to the challenges of finding a suitable pump. The group recommends future work include testing out material properties of prints with different fillers, changing the motor to the originally ordered stepper motor, which would require a few additional parts and some coating, as well as adding the side access door once the parts arrive. Thank you to our mentors, Luke Gibbon and Dr. Alvin, and to Michael Hoffis.